guys, it's Preston. Welcome back to Vinny Bitty Vintage. Um, we haven't had a video in a couple of weeks, so I thought I'd sit down with you guys today and go over some of the most recent things we found to add to our collections. So, uh, let's get started. <laughs> So first off, I thought I'd show you some Roosevelt pottery that we've um, acquired recently. Daniel uh, went to a couple of estate sales, which is kind of new for him. He's never really done the estate sale thing. Um, and I'm kind of wary of it, so I just kind of stayed behind and let him, let that be a him thing. <laughs> but he found some really good things and he went early in the morning and was number one at one place and number two at the other. Um, and so he got some really cool things, and so one of those cool things was, um, this apple blossom ewer, is that how you say it, ewer, ewer? <laughs> um, anyway, it's really, really pretty, and it doesn't have any chips or cracks, and it just has the most beautiful lines in it, um, and, you know, I knew Roseville Pottery had shut down a long time ago, but I, I guess I thought it went on longer than the 50s. It was like, what, 54, I want to say, that they shut down? That may not be right, so don't write me over the coals. It was sometime in the early 50s they shut down. Um, but anyway, it's just gorgeous, you know, the color and um, the way it's sort of like ombre in there like that. But anyway, so of course, when he brought this home, I was like, oh, we got to keep that. We're not going to sell it up. And, <laughs> um, and he had gone to another estate sale and gotten another piece of whole pottery. So, you know, it's like after a couple, it's like you're starting a collection at that point. And it's so beautiful. It's like, I just wanted to keep it, you know. Um, this was another one he found at another estate sale. This one is, I guess, considered a basket. And the, the snowberry is the design on that one. Um, Again, really pretty the way the colors ombre in. Um, so anyway, while I was out and about antiquing, um, I ran into a couple of pieces myself. And so now it's just like a runaway train. <laughs> I'm just like on a road to a pottery kick. Um, but I found this little Zephyr Lily Jardinier. It's a smaller one. I think it's... Um, like four inches tall, maybe. It's not as big, obviously, as those other pieces, but still equally as beautiful. And I love the little swirls um, in the design on this one. Um, anyway, really beautiful. Um, also, this one's called White Rose, and I found it out and about. Got a really good deal on it. Um, that one's one rose on one side, and then two roses on the other side and I like how the handles are kind of not symmetrical they're different makes it more interesting right <laughs> so anyway that's the whole pottery uh, so he got a couple of pieces at the estate sales he went into and I got a couple of pieces out picking so so next we'll move on to glass glassware but before we do I was sitting here looking at this and I'm like, why is it called white rose? Those don't look like roses at all. Things that make you go, hmm. But anyway, <laughs> moving on. Um, this is Ellie Smith Bittersweet. Let's see, Daniel found these two buttes at an estate sale. And these are getting harder to come by too. This one, they both have uh, stickers and they're labeled Fayette. Um, which I looked it up and even the ones labeled Fayette, they were still made by Ellie Smith. So, so, so pretty. We have orange and turquoise and blue in our living room. So I told Daniel we may can sell one, but we're definitely keeping the other. <laughs> but how gorgeous are those, right? Super, super beautiful. Anyway, they look like candy corn, right? <laughs> so, um... Daniel has uh, more glass, but you know, he's like a glass aficionado in this house. So I like glass too, but he's like obsessed with it. Um, and so I'm just gonna show you a few pieces. He has some other things that he's gotten recently that he'll make a video about and show you. 
Um, this is really pretty. This is a Fenton fairy lamp. Um, it's sort of that satiny glass. It has like the little ruffle piece around it. Um, it has the insert, the whole three pieces. Anyway, I forget what the design is on this. Super beautiful, right? Everybody loves a good fairy lamp. <laughs> well, and while we're at it, I'll go ahead and show you um, these two little ceramics. These are just little knock-knock things. I have the hardest time, like, when I see these types of things, just leaving them behind. Because they're so cute. Um, this is a little dog, and he's labeled Brins. He's got his little sticker on the bottom there. Um, yeah, I only paid seven bucks for him. <laughs> Um, uh, but it's just cute. Have the hard, hardest time not picking those up. Um, and this is a little May Angel. Uh, she looks a little blinky, like one of her eyes looks bigger than the other. <laughs> um, so like, yeah, you know, whatever. It's been a hard day, right? But anyway, um, I thought, well, you know, May's coming up. Maybe I'll stick her out on a table or something. She's cute. Love all those things, too. So moving on, um, I've been on a rubber face plush kick. Now, if you aren't familiar, a lot of people know the Rushton Santa Claus is with a rubber face. And so Rushton was a company that made a lot of different animals and, and babies and different characters in rubber face plush. There was also Gun, My Toy, Knickerbocker, and there were others. But those were some of the main ones uh, that made them. And... So, I've been on a kick with these lately, and I don't know if any of you saw my community tab, um, but I had this little rooster, <laughs> and he's this pastel-y, purple-y kind of color, um, and he was in really, like, gnarly, dirty shape, so I actually took his seams out, and I was really intimidated because he's got, like, this curvature there with his tail, and it's my first time. I didn't know anything about it. He didn't come 100% clean. Like, if you look really close, you can see... Um, there's like some dusty places still, but he is like, if you want to see how bad he was before, check out the community tab, but, um, anyway, I took his stuffings out and hand washed him and, um, we went and found this ribbon. Daniel actually picked the ribbon out. I thought it was a good choice. It's this little flower, uh, design on it. Um, but he turned out really well and super cute. Glad to have him in the collection. <laughs> Um, and also, you know, we have a little spaniel, uh, King Charles Cavalier Spaniel named Ziggy. And so anything that's a spaniel dog, I love. And so I found this little guy. Um, and of course we found the ribbon. We watched a YouTube tour tutorial. Um, this lady was showing how to tie the bows and I had the hardest time figuring out. I was getting so frustrated and Daniel came in and saved the day and I'm, with his help, think I figured it out, but I probably couldn't replicate it. <laughs> I mean, I could tie a bow, but there's like a special way you have to tie these, you know. Um, but anyway, all's well that ends well, right? Um, and then this little guy, I found him at an antique shop, and he was so worn out and loved, but I couldn't leave him behind. He was only 10 bucks, but he's a little knickerbocker bear. And I actually painted, his nose was all scuffed up and his ears, the black on his ears was. So I painted him. And as you can see, he's really worn right there um, with a little purple bow on him. So he has a home now. <laughs> and this other cute little pouty bear. <laughs> These are so cute. Um, but he's got him a little red ribbon that he came with. But he's just, just a little pouty bear, knickerbocker, super cute. He's got a little paint loss on his ears, but that doesn't matter. He's cute. I showed him to my mom. I sent her a picture of him with text. She's like, oh, I just want to give him a hug. He looks so sad. Um, but anyway, yeah, he's cute. So I would say that's like my latest obsession is the, are the rubber face plush. So yeah. So now I'll show you some things I've gotten for my office. Um, it's my office slash vintage toy slash kitsch room. <laughs> And Daniel was saying that my office is looking like a nursery. <laughs> but it's just because I found so many cutesy things. Um, like, for instance, I found this set of four... Um, oh, the ring light's getting... Um, 
uh, they're like the little big eyed animals. I'm trying to turn it so the glare from the ring light won't get on it, but just cute, right? <laughs> it's weird too because it's like the flowers and stuff almost look 3D, like they're popping out of the photo. But so there's him. He's a little baby tiger. Um, lion, right? <laughs> and a mouse. And uh, a little bear and the little elephant. So I just thought they were so cute. <laughs> and they kind of remind me of the like little rubber face Rustins and Knickerbockers. And so that's kind of like the theme I'm going with. And then I also found these like big eyed little children. There's three of these. And so I had to get them because they're super cute. Um, her, and they're kind of like dressed up like gestures or something, gestures, I don't know, I don't even think I said that word right, but <laughs> what are you going to do, gesture, yeah, gesture, 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 yeah, so, anyway, I just thought they were cute, so, they're going in my office too, and the final little thing, um, is this little bank, he, he looked pretty busted up. Um, he, um, was, the paint had worn off of him, so he was kind of a little project for me, and he had, like, little places where he was, like, broken, but he's a little piggy bank, and he's a giraffe, and so I thought he would look really cute in my kitschy office, so, <laughs> anyway, I painted him, I, I found a picture online of what he was supposed to look like, and the only thing I kind of did different was I outlined the little spots with, uh, black paint just because I wanted him to pop more. But yeah, he was completely, all his paint was completely worn off. Um, and so I redid his eyes and um, he actually turned out really good. You know, he's cute. <laughs> Which with things like that, you never know because they can turn into complete disasters. I can't get his stopper out and there's like money in there. So there's like a little hole in here. I like peeked in, I didn't see anything you know, <laughs> any mega cash stuck in there or anything, but yeah, so that's, that's what I've gotten over the last few weeks, and like I said, Daniel's picked up a lot of glass and things, um, so he'll do a video later on of his glass collection, so, all right guys, that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time, <laughs> thanks guys.